I do not encourage the use of legal or illegal substances. This video was strictly made for education and harm reduction purposes only. Welcome. In this video I thought it would be an interesting thing to talk about the Eleusian Mysteries. Because this is when uh, many people from the past, like a couple of thousands of years ago, were um, supposedly going into this psychedelic festival with thousands of people already back then in uh, old Europe they started to uh, use psychedelics with thousands of people this was like a really big festival or we could talk about fun stuff to do while stripping your choice you want to talk fun stuff okay let's talk fun stuff and I'm not recommending you to take psychedelics it's just that if you are going to take them which the majority of the people who um, you know if you if you want to do it I cannot really stop you by saying you shouldn't take psychedelics so this is just an expansion of the joy that can be experienced with it so this is purely for entertainment purposes so the first thing we can talk about is lights lights is uh, something really interesting especially when uh, you have control over it with this thing well, you know especially when you have such a thing like this because then, uh, you know, when you're tripping and you put all of the light out and it's dark at night and you just stare in it, then you start to see a little bit more than just lights. <laughs> so that's one thing. Where did I buy it? On the street from some guy with a light shop in Australia. So I've tried looking for them on uh, AliExpress or other websites or all over the internet, but I couldn't really find uh, something like this. So if you, if you know uh, a place where you can buy these things, either from internet or in real life at the shop, at a physical shop, then put it in the comment section down below because I'm sure many people would love this thing. I was just lucky to, uh, to came across it on the streets. LED lights also something very interesting because you can set the entire room. Now it's summer in Holland, so it gets uh, dark at like uh, 10, 30 p.m. So I can't really, um, you know, turn off the sun and show you what it's like in the dark because I always go to bed at like 9 p.m. So uh, I always live in the light actually. So I can't really show how magical it is to Joe. Uh, to, it really changes the room, the vibe of the room, like the entire uh, way in which you are inside of a room. You can just change it by changing the colors of the LED light. So suppose you put the room on red and it's dark so the only thing that you're perceiving is red is really really different from when you put it on blue or when you put it on green or when you put it on orange so it's just you know you can switch vibes with uh, <laughs> with this and then also if you combine it with music there are certain music which you can sync with blue with uh, red with um, orange uh, it's hard to explain what type of music that is but you you know when you, when you put up a song you just think of a color then the first color which pops up in your mind you just put that up so uh, if you have like a certain playlist or something of um, I don't know lo-fi hip-hop or something that you like and you just think which color should fit this and then you turn on down everything in the room all of the lights and you just put up the that specific color so you just listen to the music and uh, then you start to question yourself which type of color would fit with this and then you just switch the color and then when that happens you will see that the entire room the way uh, the trip responds to you being here experiencing reality you can just flip and play around with this with color and with music so that's something really cool to um, to look at and then one more thing about lights actually a couple more things about lights you know this uh, I bought this if you're interesting um, if you're interested at a festival I guess you can buy them all over the internet I didn't check but uh, you know it's just a, a, a sunglasses with some lights one of the first times when I was um, starting to trip alone uh, I remember that it was just on weed so I smoked a joint and then I, uh, I bought this light and if you can see crazy things will happen the light switches around and it goes crazy and you can fasten up the pace or you can do it a little bit slower this is really fast and I don't you know I lost the remote so I don't know where it is maybe you can change it a little bit with this 
you know, you can see that the pace just slows down a little bit. And then uh, I remember that I put this on and then I smoked the joint and I would lay in my bed and I would just watch this for like a couple of hours straight until I fell asleep. So uh, this is really, you know, sometimes when I, when I used to trip at a certain point, I would think what to do, what to do next, because then I didn't know that the ultimate pleasure of tripping is in just observing reality. So I was constantly looking for things to do. That's why I came up with all of these things, which I'm going to share in this video. But um, before I realized that uh, just observing reality is the most interesting thing to do whilst on a psychedelic, I was hooked to uh, these things. So I, I, thought that I found this on uh, AliExpress, I will link it down below. It's like 20 euros and uh, it's perfect for when you're tripping with friends and uh, you know you're starting to calm down and uh, you just want to lay in the couch and you know observe the the rooftop or something you know that's basically what it came down to with some of my trips that we didn't even know what to do anymore except for watching tv and just laying down and um, listening to some music but if you want to have a cool add-on on the music then um, you know when you're with friends uh, what we did is we would fill the entire room with balloons so we we um, we grabbed blankets and pillows and we put it all over the ground pillows and um, blankets and uh, you know the parts that the soft parts of the couch we would just get it up and put it on the ground and then we have like a whole surface of softness where we, on which we would lay upon and then uh, we had a lead strip we had uh, all of us were blowing up balloons so we had like 100 or 150 balloons inside of the room so everywhere you go is just you know bouncing around with all of the balloons and then um, just playing around with that and then as we would get into that vibe where we would just lay down and lay a little bit then we put up some music and uh, I grabbed this thing put it up upon the ceiling and then you know it, it's you can see how small it is right now but the further you move it away the bigger it gets so um, if I would have to do a raw estimation from you know the top of the lights to the downside if you are reasonably far away so let's say uh, five meters distance from the light and the uh, uh, surface on which you are displaying the light I would say that uh, the the surface um, would be covered with lights from top to bottom in like eight meters straight so you can basically um, the entire ceiling you can cover it so then we would lay upon these um, these soft pillows and everything and then just surrounded with balloons and friends we would put up some music pick a color on the led strip and then uh, just watch this thing for a couple of hours. That was so cool to do because then, you know, everywhere there's just stimulation of interesting things. You stimulate yourself with the music, with all of the lights, with the softness of the pillows, with the coziness of your, uh, you know, good friends. And then with all of these crazy balloons going all over the place, it's just, uh, yeah, the tripping rooms, making tripping rooms was a great hobby of us. And there's then one more light which I thought you would might be interesting. That's poi uh, light, poi let poi. It's um, I'm gonna show you a video in a minute, but it's like light, and you can swap it around all like this. And uh, you know there are two things like this, and I'm gonna be careful in here, but. <laughs> Yes, so um, the batteries have died a couple of years ago because as I was getting into these things and I bought them and then immediately after that or sometime after that I really got into spiritual practice and I started to um, you know invest all of my time in spiritual practice setting up this room and doing a lot of yoga and meditation so I never really got the time to um, figure these things out. And I know that people are really, really good with them.
lights and uh, I just mentioned bonfires and uh, for bonfires especially when um, I've never I, I know that these things exist but I've never done them before outside in a bonfire I just use them indoors but there are these things and you can throw them on a bonfire and you will get um, multiple sorts of flames so uh, if you sit there at the bonfire and you don't tell your friends that you have these things and then you say look a falling star and then you just grab three of these things throw them on the fire and then uh, as they lock back you know you maybe if you sneak it up then they don't see that you throw these things in there then pink flames come red flames come orange flames come blue flames come green flames come and it's just call all sorts of colors coming from the bonfire and just everybody would look like this uh, in, a, in a month I'm gonna have an acid trip and I'm not gonna tell my friends that I have these things and then I'm just gonna tell them look look there's a falling star over there and then everybody just looking you know or I just tell them that's a comet and just something to get all of the people's attention uh, from the bonfire to something else and just throw three of these things over there and then act like nothing happened and then suddenly all sorts of colors coming from the flames you know how would your friends react to that just uh, especially when you're tripping you know and then all sorts of pink colors or or colors coming from the flames maybe they think they're hallucinating but it's not it's actually really there you can just buy these on aliexpress i bought them on aliexpress they're called magic fire I really like to, to spend some time to uh, create um, a certain setting um, whilst I'm tripping. So there are also these tiki flames, you know, when you're in Hawaii and um, there are these, these lamps of oil and then there's a stick and then you make a path with them. So then you're walking in a path straight towards a certain place and then that place is entirely um, surrounded by torches by these tiki flames so they're really cheap at, at least where i live and holland is a really expensive country i find so then for six euros a piece i could get these uh, big torches just light them with oil and then just put them over there as soon as the night is coming up and it really changes the um, the entire setting of the trip especially when you're making a bonfire and you're in some quiet place you know so I have the luck that I live on a farm there. Are, I don't have any neighbors. So when we're, for example, last summer, when we were taking acid, uh, we made a bonfire and uh, we were just watching the stars, these sticky flames, we've placed them all around the camp. And then also um, from the entrance of the garden towards the bonfire, we just placed them over there. Make sure that you're not tripping too hard because then handling fire might not be the best idea. But we did it in a such a way that, you know, every time I do acid, I start at 2 p.m. almost sharp in the afternoon. Because then um, the peak of the trip will end as soon as it's getting dark. And then when it's getting dark, then, um, you know, then the biggest part of the trip is already done. You don't really know what to do because you, the entire thing already happened. So to have a backup thing to keep yourself entertained as soon as the, the effects of the trip are coming down is really important because then you can sustain the maintenance of enjoyment whilst you're tripping. So in the first instance, um, many people make this, yeah, it's, it's not really a mistake. It's just, it can be done more optimal. So they prepare like the first thing, like the setting of um, the trip in which, uh, in the place in which they are tripping and then they peak and then it comes down and then they get to a point where they don't know what to do anymore so i'm just going to give you some more tips as i just showed you uh you know having the entire floor covered with um pillows and soft cushions and um what is it called you know uh, we call it in holland a matras where you where you lay upon on your bed you know the the big uh the big thing on which you lay which is soft on the bed i don't know which what it's called right now but we just place it all over so that everything is soft we blow up balloons uh, put up some nice music and a fitting color and then we do the light show but we only do that as soon as the effects of the trip were coming down because then um 
we can sustain that enjoyment and even keep it up further so that it's like uh, <laughs> suppose you can see it like this so um, uh, suppose you are playing Mario Kart and the track is always the same thing so you put in the settings of the game I'm gonna uh, with my friends do 12 laps well after six laps you've seen the track and you know the enjoyment starts to come down because you get used to what it is so with tripping is the same thing so you prepare uh, for the first couple of hours you make sure that that's good and then when you peak and the effects come down you don't know what to do anymore so we used to um, just as I just said balloons cover everything put up some music and then um, the lights the led strips and then um, enjoy that while smoking a joint so then we would have like a second stage of the trip um, so at first in the garden whilst it's nice weather we would sit over there and do things in the grass and just you know enjoy that and then as soon as the night comes on then whilst we're still tripping a bit we uh, place everything inside of the room uh, so the, the pillows we blow up balloons uh, the lights and then we can enjoy that and then we smoke a joint and then we go uh, lay upon that and enjoy the second stage of the trip and this second stage of the trip to keep yourself entertained for the entire thing you can fill it in however you want like another example which I just gave you was the bonfires so then as soon as the night would come and the the, the clouds would get pinkish so they would change colors and then they, the sun would go down slowly so another option uh, which you could do for the second stage of your trip is to make a bonfire and uh, this is not possible anywhere in every uh, home that people have because some people don't have a backyard i'm just lucky that i have that but um so then as soon as the as as the day would go by and the sun would go down and the 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 clouds would get pinkish and the sky would get purple we would make a bonfire with each other and then place these torches all around so that we create an entirely different atmosphere as composed to as um, as composed to um, as opposed to while as opposed to the set we had whilst we started the trip so then you switch stages to keep it more fun and then we, we, we used to smoke a joint next to the bonfire in this entirely new, entirely new setting that we created so that's one more thing that you can do so that on the internet I'm sure there are a bunch of toys available to keep you entertained while stripping but I didn't really explore that because I always just when I was on festivals or when I just was at some random events on which I didn't expect to find cool things I found cool things as I just told you I found this from some guy in Sydney in Australia and I just bought it like he had a lot of cool stuff what he also had were these two things <laughs> uh, this this guy was supposed to sell kids stuff but uh, I'm sure he has tripped a lot of mushrooms in his life one more thing is kaleidoscope I'm gonna try to show it to you Let's see so um if i yeah and then you can uh it's really hard to do with the camera right now because it's still but as you you know you see that you can <laughs> imagine how that is whilst you're spacing or wait 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 uh, i also used to do this You know, and this is just a camera, if you're um, really tripping, you have these two things or some crazy light source and a kaleidoscope, or, you know, just a human face, you can do a lot of crazy stuff with it. And I also have these glasses. I'm sure this is how uh, flies see the world. Uh, it doesn't really... Um... Okay, it's not really special if you look at it on the camera, but if you put it on, then it's... Uh, um, I don't know how to explain what this is like, but it's cool. One more thing that you should absolutely have whilst you're tripping.
bubbles. Oh, that didn't really work. Okay, I got two. Okay, you understand the point. It's just that you can um, you can create um, soap bubbles. You know, if you have like a small thing, or if you have um, these bigger ones, you can create the big bubbles. It's really cool to do that. If you're with all of your friends, like with eight people or something, and all of you are just creating all of these bubbles, and then um, shine some light on it, like the lasers that I just showed you, you get a really cool effect. Because then, when, when you have all of those bubbles, and you point a laser at it, then it goes through the bubble, but in of that bubble it reflects through all sides of the bubble so if you shine a laser on it or multiple lasers then the reflection of it goes outside of that bubble in all sorts of directions and that light then also comes together with other bubbles and then that light comes together with all sorts of bubbles so then you can if you have if you really uh, create a lot of bubbles and you have a lot of lasers then you can create like this amazing uh, show of lasers and reflections going in all directions and then the bubbles just floating all over the place and you can create like this magical fairy tale of lights and bubbles Music. Also one more thing, but uh, if you're not someone who plays bass guitar or you know has a drum set at home They are really uh, uh, easy to play and not that expensive uh, Musical instruments available. This is a melodica. So it's just you pay you um, You learn like this simple tune that you know from a song or something uh, I used to also could play the coffin dance, but that's some time ago. It's really simple. It's like You know that song It's really easy to play on these things. It takes like 10 minutes to learn and another 20 minutes to get on fully and then uh, if you know with a, with a couple of friends you can also play um, some one could play some chords, some really simple chords, and another can play like the the, the melody of it. <laughs> That, that's something that one could play this takes like not even five minutes to learn even if you're even if you're not good and um, the the melodica is a little uh, the, the melody is a little bit harder to learn but it's really something cool to try and figure out whilst you're tripping because then also you have something simple to be completely engaged with and that's the most important thing of uh, trying to entertain yourself recreationally whilst you're uh, using these substances because your mind is intoxicated in such a way that reality gets very intense so it's much more enjoyable but at the same time it also intoxicates, intoxicates your cognitive function so you're not able to use your mind as optimally as usual so if you just find something simple to do and it, it doesn't have to be making music it can be anything something simple to do even drawing or painting uh, you know whatever if you find something simple to do and then try to be completely engaged with that then you can create a lot of fun moments because that's all it takes just something fun to keep your mind busy with because you're gonna fail and um, you're gonna do it completely wrong even though it's actually pretty pretty simple and you're gonna laugh so hard with your friends because something so simple you cannot do it because your mind is intoxicated is it intoxicated because you took acid so another um, instrument which I really like, besides the melodica, is the, the mouth harp. Now 
that good, but um, you know, this was just some impulsive thing to buy and try to figure out uh, whilst I was with certain friends who also like to do these things. And uh, then one more thing, which is, um, it's, it's called a steel drum. And you have so many uh, different keys that you can basically pick out an emotion uh, which you would like to feel and then try playing that. So what do you feel when I play this? When I, the emotion that's um, attached to that specific melody for me when it comes up, I feel like I'm alone in some ruin in the jungle watching the stars. Having completely lost my way, I'm in the jungle, I have no idea where I am, but I found this instrument. And now I'm just sitting over there somewhere in the ruin and uh, I gave in to the fact that I have no idea where I am in the jungle and probably I'm gonna die over here because the jungle, you know, might, it might be the Amazon or some jungle in India or something. I have no idea in which direction to go to get out and I know I'm just completely fucked. And uh, I'm just looking at the stars, accepting that probably this is my last place and where I will die because as soon as I get out of the ruin, I will be eaten by tigers. And then I sit over there at night and the moon is just rising up and the light shines through the trees up on the ruins on my face and on the instrument and the song I play is this. That's um, it's really fun to have um, an instrument with which you can control your emotion. If you learn some basic melodies on this, this is specifically as I just said, you know, when I play this, it's really this, this kind of dark and lonely, not dark, but just it's really hard to explain the, the tune of this, you know? It's not dark because it's not really depressive or something. It's still this, you know, um, I think that this one, I just started playing that, but I think it's from the last Airbender, right? It's it's from uh, Avatar, uh, you know, An. That's, it's not necessarily a happy emotion. I, 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 anyway, I'm, I'm dwelling off too much into this. It's just that there are, multiple keys available from this so you also have really happy tunes with which you can um, uh, you know play around with happy emotions like extremely joyful things and then there are the little bit you know night-ish moon uh, kind of obscure uh, sounds which I really like this one and then there are also um, really heavy ones and there are just an, an immense uh, immensely broad variety of sounds which you can create with this so you just pick one out uh, which suits your emotion and then you try and play a little bit and when you're with it in a certain way completely with it and you lose yourself in the tune of it that's one thing and it's another thing to experience that on the psychedelics especially when you're with friends this is also an instrument which I like to play uh, in the setting of being outside, the trip has ended. It was really intense, all of us are just exhausted and now we're just watching the stars and contemplating our lives. And uh, we are, the bonfire is there, the tiki flames are over there and I play this instrument in this specific note. Just play around a little bit with it. It doesn't have to be good, but just playing around with it. Making sounds, that's really a magical thing to do. And some people really look up to uh, try and make music 
No, it's just a cringe which you have to come over. And it's really something worthwhile in my opinion. So um, it, it's like this. Suppose I would ask you right now, sing a song, but as exuberantly as possible. And you really dedicate yourself and you do it right now, then you cannot give yourself fully into it. Unless, you know, singing is something that you do on a daily basis, then if I say sing, then if I say sing, you just sing as if, um, as exuberantly as possible, because you do it on a daily basis. So this is like the same thing, but it's just that uh, in order to be able to play around and find things with it, you just have to give yourself to it and not worry about messing up. And uh, it's really a worthwhile thing to do. I really like this instrument. That's almost it for this video. And there's one more thing which I would really like to share with you, which is definitely worthwhile. Some artist from uh, SoundCloud who texted me and he said, do you uh, do psilocybin or magic truffles or mushrooms often? And I said, eh, sometimes, you know, okay. Have you ever listened to this? And he put up this song which uh, or this playlist it takes like an hour and it's designed in such a way that it can um, you know I don't want to say anything not truthful because he spent a lot of uh, some years developing this so that he could create this one hour of music to um, uh, for people who are tripping it's specially made not necessarily for tripping I think you know he knows a lot more about it than me but when I do it then you know these these guided meditations or these uh, guided music things which you hear a lot on music or, or on youtube when you type in um, uh, meditation music you always get this one beat or this one melody melody which is just constantly doing its same thing but this thing uh, which i'm going to link in the description it's like a journey of music made in such a way that as soon as your attention wants to go away, the music just pushes it back and you're just uh, there with the music again. And then it, it surprised me, yeah, just the way it was structured. It was really like going on a journey. The hour was over just, just like that. It doesn't cost money, you can just put it on for free. Um, major shout out to him. Uh, I forgot the name right now. But I'm um, uh, Light Ascension, something like that. Um, I put it over here, I put it in the description. Just make sure to check that out. It was really worthwhile it for me. And uh, in the future, he will be releasing lots of new content. Just make sure to check that out. It's all for free. And it's uh, basically just a journey of music. And that's really cool to have whilst you're tripping because there aren't uh, a lot of good musical journeys which you can... Um, find on youtube because it's always just uh one sound just repeating itself but this is like a journey of it it constantly changes and everything i hope you really got something out of this video uh i had a lot of fun while stripping i had a lot of fun while stripping and i wish you the same thing so thank you for watching and i'll see you on your next trip